Okay, so let's see what's going on for Joe Biden in August. Now, I was doing this reading, and then everything went haywire with the recording and things, so I'll start over. But what I was getting was there is some woman that he may pardon. Um, it has something to do around grief and sorrow and loss, so either she has died already, and they're doing a retroactive thing, kind of like they did for Susan B. Anthony or whoever that was. Or, it's around a death or a tragedy or something of that nature, and she gets pardoned. So, there's some sort of pardon that may be coming. Um, he has some sort of issue with resources and the small businesses or small business association type thing of his administration. And that's as far as I got. So, let's see what pops up now. Joe Biden, August. Joe Biden, August. Two of Cups, there's a deal made. Queen of Pentacles. That's the, the Queen of Pentacles was the card that popped up first in the last reading, and then the Five of Cups popped up with it. So there are some deals and things of that nature. Um, so this could have something to do with not just small businesses, but it's it's commerce, like getting things from another place type two, uh, imports, exports, that type of thing. I don't know if it's because of the outages or what it is, but there's there's a lot of issue with trying to get resources from one place to another when it comes to, especially when it comes to small businesses who may be more impacted by this than larger ones. Um, the Fool, the Temperance, the Moon, okay, the Seven of Pentacles. The Moon and the Fool is there's something that is unknown. This is going to be centered around those resources, and those deals that need to be made. So there's a lot of trouble with supply chains, which also means there is going to be a lot of price gouging and a, light, um, a lot of conversation about price gouging. And then he's going to have to be all presidential on somebody and be like, hey, you're price gouging. Um, the Temperance and the Seven of Pentacles, because keep in mind, he's still president, so he's got work to do. Temperance, Seven of Pentacles, this is using, um, like oil reserve, or using some sort of resources you have reserved to make something lighter. It may have something to do, um, because this can be taxes, too, when it comes to back-to-school stuff that's coming up next month or some sort of resource that you can use to alleviate the pressure of something because this is mending defense or or creating some sort of balance with the temperance card so we're using some resources to make things a little more fair um, the two of swords king of cups and the ace of wands and he had the nine, the Knight of Wands in that same position, uh, his first read, so do not go traveling around, like I said. The Two of Swords, there is some blockage of resources. Um, this one, however, has something to do with crops, or something that would be more local. Or water, as well. Because there's, there's some, like, droughts or states of emergencies or something like that to where there may be some emergencies that are, that are issued and federal help is called for. Um, King of Cups in the word of solace, Joe Biden himself. So his administration is going to shine like a brand new penny. For the next couple months like 
really shine, which puts Kamala in an even better position. And then his last card is the Ace of Wands. So look to see a lot of actions. These may even be independent actions, as in executive orders, but look to see a lot of action coming out of him in the next few months. Because again, the administration shines big time going forward. So we shall see.